Hey, this is Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and in this episode, I'm going to tackle two twin AMX Javelins from Matchbox. <laughs> All right, so here I got a pair of Matchbox AMX Javelins, uh, I believe from 1972. Got these at a local flea market for a couple bucks a piece. Uh, one is obviously better than the other. Um, they both are in good shape. Doors work. Um, neither one had the hitch, thank God. And uh, one's got a black hood. One's got or a snorkel. One's got a chrome. So I figured I'd create... Um, something a little bit different and uh, because I'm lacking in the wheel compartment I found some faster than ever wheels from from match uh, from Hot Wheels and then another set also from Hot Wheels and I know it's probably sacrilegious to put Hot Wheels wheels on a matchbox car but I'm doing it anyways so obviously the first step is to take them apart and, and kind of see what we had to to work with and you know you can you can get a good look right off the bat and have have a good idea but until you take something apart you don't really know um and i thought doing two would be a little bit overwhelming uh especially when you're trying to video it but um really it wasn't all that bad a little confusing at points but for the most part so here's the first one um you know the axles are rusted um but other than that aside from just being dirty um, the one that was beat up, which is the one I'm taking apart now, um, the windshield was a little scratched and, and discolored, but overall not too bad. Um, on these, the uh, base and the interior hold the wheels in. The wheels are actually snapped into the interior, then it's riveted down onto the base. Um, so once you remove the interior, it's, it's pretty simple. There's a few tabs that hold the, hold the axles in. Um, so obviously I'm doing two at once here and some of this I will be skipping uh, the duplicate stuff um, as time goes on so for the most part uh, both both cars are in really decent shape so here I am with the wheels I want to put on um, these are the gold set the front wheels were a little narrower uh, than I wanted the back wheels were a little longer than I wanted as far as axles so I'm going to make new axles uh, at least for the front, and then I'll trim the, the back down later on in the video. And as usual, I try to, uh, multiple times throughout the process, I'll fit things and see how they go together, make sure I had wheel clearance for the uh, fender wells, and make sure it wasn't hitting the interior, because the rear wheels on this that I'm putting on are a little bit bigger than the ones that were on it to begin with. So I went upstairs and um, grabbed some soapy water, cleaned out the parts that I had, as far as interior and you can see I'm being very careful to try to keep things separate um, for each car because sometimes things don't all fit back together the same way a post could be off a little bit you know just little minor things um, this one didn't seem to matter that much because I think I totally mixed them up as time went on anyways but at least the efforts there um, so obviously this is the one uh, the interior uh, the windscreen or windshield is a little little scratched um, it has the chrome snorkel with the chrome steering wheel um, dashboard. So out of the two bases, uh, one of them, because I'm doing these differently, each car, um, but either way, I'm going to clean with the soft wire wheel attachment that I have for my Dremel tool. And this works pretty good. Um, I wasn't going for a perfect finish on this. I could have used some um, polishing compound and, and gotten a maybe a little bit better result but this one really wasn't that bad to begin with um, so I didn't have to put a lot of effort into it the other base was really really discolored um, just had a lot of wear on it and it worked out because that's the one I decided I was going to um, I'm going to paint it black anyways uh, for a flat black undercarriage so I didn't put a ton of effort on this particular one um, you can see compared to the yellow one, it's, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more discolored. Uh, but I just wanted to get all the residue off. I wanted to make sure, um, I had a nice clean surface to paint and, uh, wire wheel attachments, the quickest way I could think of to do it after I washed it. Uh, and then I tried to get a little bit of the dust and crap off the inside that's been sitting there for 30 years, 40 years. Um, as you guys know, I switched to the gel and 
my cheap 39 cent bucket I got at Home Depot for paint. Um, I just kind of just kind of goop it all on there. I, I have a lot of leftover stuff in there from other other strips. Um, this paint really wasn't all that easy. I left this stuff on for t almost 24 hours uh, just because I can only work on this stuff at night. And uh, this was at the end of the night. But I did manage to get, you know, with a little bit of uh, um, steel wool while I was rinsing it off with warm soapy water, I was able to, to get the bulk of the, pa the paint off. I mean, one was obviously worse than the other and one body is worse. Um, a lot of the metal was, was pitted. Um, but overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, probably took me about a half an hour to strip the paint. Um, and as usual, I'll go back over with my handy-dandy wire wheel attachment, which is my favorite tool. Um, this really just helps uh, clean the surface a little bit better. And I end up... This car wasn't as bad as some of the other ones, but there's, there's still areas that are real tight. And you can't get the paint out. Uh, without it really you just need to get in there and you can put some decent amount of force on there It doesn't do any damage. I've never had a problem um, So I'll do both cars. I'll do inside and out just to get them clean I'm gonna be painting them and priming them anyways So it's not like I'm putting a spectra flame paint on it and I need to have a polished body, but I want them as clean as I can and um, Some of them had some some really rough areas that I'm gonna end up having a wet sand anyways uh, but the, the wire brush really does does wonders uh just wear eye protection because those little bristles go everywhere usually end up in your eye uh, it's amazing how they find a way so with this one um i had a little file a little bit in the nose it was a little little dinged up not too too bad um but i like to give it a quick wet sand the rear corners were pretty bad on one of them so i had to do do that one a little extra um and here i'm once again fitting it dry fitting it which I must do probably 30 times. I only video it a couple times because it's it gets monotonous. Um, but I'm just a stickler for making sure everything fits and it's going to go together once it's painted because the last thing I want to do is try to put crap together and have it not fit after it's painted. So here I am trimming the, the uh, length of the rear axle. Um, uh, sometimes you can use a um, pair of pliers to kind of crimp the end. These ones were really tough for the pliers I had, so I'm just punching it down so I can get the right length. And um, like I said before, these bases have like five little tabs, three on one side, two on the other. And the wheels just snap right in. It's actually a really clever design. So I got some uh, k and um, stock that I use to make front axle on this one. Um, I'll punch down one side. I'll put both wheels on. I'll get a, an overall length. And then I'll trim to fit. Um, like I said, the original ones, I don't even know what car. I think it came off a of bone shaker. The front was just a little too narrow. So I just wanted to be be as accurate as I could. And those wheel wells on these AMXs are really wide. So I didn't want to have too much extra space in there. So here you can kind of see. Rolls great. Um, worked out perfect. I had to cut um, nothing on the silver and black rims that I put on the other car. Um, on the interior, um, I, the yellow was just disgusting. I never liked yellow. When I had these cars growing up, I had a uh, green one and a blue one. And I hated the yellow windshield, and I hated the yellow interior. So I painted both interiors white, and then I painted the front grille and rear taillight assembly as black. Uh, because I just liked white better. So again, I dry fitted it. I uh, tapped the, the holes. Um, I always do that before I paint, uh, just to... You know, I've done it a couple times. I've forgotten not, you know, then when you're trying to do it after it's been painted, um, you know, you're just bound to, you're asking for a problem. So um, those are tapped. Um, everything's ready to go. Um, I'll put the screws back in so that way no paint gets in the holes and uh, clogs them up. And it makes for a good place for the helping hands to kind of kind of grab on when you're when you're painting. Last thing you want to do is have it fall off and ruin your paint job because you didn't have it clipped on there good. So I painted one car primer gray and the other one primer white. And there's a reason behind this because of the colors I'm going to paint. The, the dark gray that you see there, which is a uh, Rust-Oleum primer, is going to be for the black version. And the white <coughs> excuse me, is for the blue version because I didn't like the green originally, but I definitely liked the blue. Um, but I'm taking it up a notch. I'm going with the Wicked Colors, um, black and blue. The blue is a very vibrant blue. Um, as opposed to the original, which was very kind of dull, flat blue. 
So here I am mixing it up in my illegal spray booth, and I know I have no filters, uh, but I do have a fan um, blowing it back into my face. So anyways, um, you start off with a couple light color, uh, light coats. I do the inside completely um, just so I don't forget because I've done that before and painted and forgot to do the wheel wells because it showed. So I ended up putting three or four coats on this, waiting maybe five minutes in between, which I'm splicing the video together, so you can't tell. But um, three or four coats, it goes on pretty pretty good. The Wicked Colors, it's, you know, it's okay as far as paint. Um, no real complaints. Um, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, maybe I'm still hunting for the right mixture of hardener and, and or reducer and everything else, but... Um, overall came, came out pretty good. Um, make sure I had to make sure the doors were closed just a little bit so I could get the gap. I didn't want to take the doors off. And the good news is I painted the blue first. So I just gave it a quick, quick cleaning, nothing fancy, just wiped it out. And then because black is a darker color, I just dumped it right on top. Uh, mixed it with a little bit of hardener and it works out really well. Um, the black from Wicked Colors comes out almost like a, a semi flat or a satin. Um, which works out okay because I'm going to clear coat it anyways, but um, really good coverage. I mean, I think I only had to put two coats on, on the black one. It just really adheres good. So uh, while that's drying and before I can put a clear coat, I'm using my Chemical Guys car polish to uh, and swirl remover <laughs> to polish the windshields. Like I said, one was really good. One was not so good. This is the not so good one on uh, the inside was actually scratched, which was really weird. Um, not sure how, and I don't think I did it, but just a soft um, wire, up a wire, um, soft brush attachment. I'm barely putting any pressure on it. Um, this stuff works so good. I have no, everything I've tried to polish just comes out awesome. So, um, you know, hit, hit it the best you can, and then you just kind of wipe it down with a soft terry cloth towel, and that'll end up bringing it it'll look a little bit hazy and once you wipe it it just clears up and it's like well it's like glass <laughs> um but it really does a great job and i swear by this stuff like i said i bought it for my own vehicles but found an application here so i obviously did the other one um i'm using this um redline shop clear coat and hardener um, i was a little leery putting it on top of the wicked colors i don't like mixing paints but um, this really, this stuff is just so good. I, I just want to clear coat like half the shit in my house because it's just so good. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Now it's just a matter of putting it back together and uh, the final reveal. So um, I try to keep this short even though it was two. Um, if you guys liked it, please subscribe, share, comment. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.